This is another teaching segment on how to use pots to frame a parking area and also how to decide what size you want to use. You can notice that two of their pots are um, they are really small. These are about 15 by 15 in size and they are just too diminutive. So we decided to go ahead and commission some larger ones. These are 30 by 30 by 24 and you can see the old pots beside them um, as an example of what the size was. And they're quite, quite different in size, so one will go on each end of the parking court. And in choosing the pots, usually I try to have something like, these are the two pots by the front walk, and those are approximately mm, 18 inches tall, 18 in diameter at the top, and they are uh, a nice porcelain high-fired, uh, which we get for clients from a wholesale place, and they're made in uh, Thailand. And then, aren't they pretty? And the idea with the ones across the parking court is we didn't want to be too matchy-matchy. And the intention will be to fill the space with herbs, but to have a strong um, a dominant focal point that would be an upright plant with perhaps a mop head, like a hydrangea that could be kept cut clipped, or maybe a bay. This temperature can get below zero, so we tend to use things like hydrangeas, standard forms of tardiva, or uh, Annabelle or one of the numbers, uh, any numbers of hydrangeas that are done in this way now is standards. I love that. And speaking of hydrangeas, look at the snowflake going up their driveway. Snowflake here. I could do a whole lecture on hydrangeas just at this property, but let's stick to the subject. Now I wanted you to see um, how these have matured from last year. They have, um, it's really hard to see in this picture. Let me come to this one. They've, uh, these are the ones that are 18 by 18, or maybe they're 15 by 15. And you'll notice that the, um, they're made of bark. It's a tulip poplar parked bar bark. And there's a very pretty thing uh, planted with native plant materials where you could use herbs. Notice that the and medallion with the mosses uh, with time has faded. And we're going to try some golf course grass paint to see if we can't freshen that up.